In this video, I have a battery from Ography. Ography. I think it's pronounced Ography. This battery is a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Ography. Ography. A anyways, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery. So right away we can see we have a pretty typical standard case for these batteries. Uh, we have our positive posts and our negative post. We have very limited information on the front of the battery, just the name, lithium iron phosphate, 12 volt, 100 amp hours. And then on the back, we have deep cycle, environmentally friendly, super long life, high safety, 12 volt, 100 amp hour. And lithium iron phosphate, and we have a five year warranty sticker. Now I'll bring you in a little closer and we'll take a look at the top of the battery. And on the top of the battery here, we have the name, and we have Green Power Solution Expert. And we have our terminals. Looks to be a epoxy terminal with a nice size surface area here for connection, as well as we have a sticker on here that says energy 1,280 watt hours. And we will test that. And included in the package, we have some M8 bolts that has a washer, a split washer, a hex head or a Phillips screwdriver, as well as it came with these little caps here to cap off after you make your connection. And also we have a product manual as well as a product brochure. Taking a look at the product manual, we can see all the different choices here. This is what we wanna look for. So we have a nominal voltage, 12.8, a charge voltage of 14.4, plus or minus two volts, nominal capacity, 100 amp hours, BMS board, 100 amp hours, energy, 1,280 watt hours, uh, load power, we have a 1C discharge rate, if I am correct, and continuous charging current of 25 amps, maximum continuous discharge of 1,000, and cycle life, the weight, 25.5 pounds, Recommended solar configuration, fully charged with efficiency sunshine, 4.5 hours per day, 3000 watt, and the wire series parallel, a six gauge AMG. Now that depends on how much you are discharging. And there is not too much else to go over. And we have a series and parallel connection configuration recommendation. So this battery can be seriesed up to a 48 volt pack. And that's the user manual. And next let's perform a capacity test. Okay, I'm ready to start my discharge test, but I wanna check the over voltage protection before I get started. And we are charging with eight amps. We're gonna let this run until the BMS of the battery cuts out the charging. And there you go, we've had over voltage protection event. So now that BMS has stopped charging, which is a pass on the BMS over voltage protection. Okay, battery capacity test. I have my typical setup here, my torch, inverter, battery, and display. As you can see, the time is 20 seconds since I started recording and I'm ready to start the test. And there we go, the test has begun. We are just below 20 amp hours. This will raise up a little once the voltage goes down and we will let this test run and see what our capacity test is on our battery here. And our test is now complete and we have 105.87 amp hours. So this is above the 100 amp hour capacity on the battery. This is a pass. Okay, we've passed our capacity test. So now we can move on to tearing the battery down. So I would not recommend you tearing this battery down, it voids the warranty, it has a five year. So don't try this at home, uh, leave it for people like me. Leave it to crazy people like me to take these down. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and open it up as less intrusively as I can, and we'll see what the build quality looks like, and we'll test to see if it has high and low protection, and then I will give you my recommendation on this battery at that point. Okay, I think it's uh, ready to let loose. Whew. 
That's got a pretty hefty smell to it. There we go. Whew. Man, all these batteries smell the same. And looking here, we have a hydraulically crimped lug, as well as we have a pair of number eight AWG 200 degree silicone wire. Now let's get this pack out. Oh, I'll just leave that on. Let's get these uh, wires off first here. Oh, well, that's different. So on here we have a Phillips screw instead of uh, the typical hex head or the typical Phillips. Let's take the negative off first. Oh. Okay. That is not a great sign. Uh, so straight away on these on this bolt here we do not have a serrated edge and we also do not have a lock washer on here so with a lot of vibration this could come loose and then this wire can dangle around in here uh, there is also no glue some companies affix this and then put a glue So that I'm not too happy about. So if you're in a high vibration scenario, this may not be the battery for you. And again, on the positive, you can see there's no split washer and there is also no serrated edge on here. Also, uh, even if they did do that, they could have put Loctite on here and that would have solved the issue as well. Okay, let's see. We're not glued there. Not glued and that's glued. Okay, I think this is gonna rather simply come out. Well, it feels like we might have glue on the bottom. Nope, we're good. Perfect. Okay. Oh, we did have a bit of glue. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, it feels to me like the BMS is going to be here on the front. Oh, we have cell holders. Okay. So that's looking good. Kind of see here, it looks like we have cell holders. So that is looking good. Oh, is this going to be my first? Oh, this might be. It's either this is pouch cells or this is extremely thin cells. Okay, so we have the BMS. I think these are pouch cells. Huh. This might be my first pouch cell battery. Okay, so taking a look at the BMS here, 
See if I can get this off without ripping the sticker, and I can't. So they have their name brand sticker on here, and what looks to be 100 amps. Come on, oh, no. Okay, well, that's all I can tell from that. But it looks like here we have a B0104344. We have our P minus and our B minus. And looks like this is our balance cable leads. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And I do not see a temperature sensor. So there's probably a temperature sensor on the board for high temperature protection. But as far as low temperature protection, I do not see one. Oh, no, I was wrong. Okay, this does have high temperature protection, but this does not have low. Let me see it. I have to dig a little deeper. I mean, as far as wiring, it looks like we have a pair Yeah, pair of eight gauge silicone wire. We have a hydraulic crimped lug here, hydraulic crimped lugged. We also have this high temperature sleeve to protect it for heat. Uh, spiral wrapped balance cables and what looks to be just a high temperature sensor. Okay, so I have the BMS deactivated. Yeah, these are pouch cells. As you can see, so we have our main negative and then our positive, series connected to negative, and then our positive, series connected to negative, positive, series connected to negative, and then our main positive. And I do not see any temperature sensors in here. And you can see here, now I don't want to tear down too much. Pipe cells actually kind of make me a little bit nervous rather than just the prismatic cells. I mean, I did watch a video with Real Prouse and he drilled into one of these cells and basically nothing happened for his Chin's battery, well, his Chin's power station review. But it's nonetheless, they still make me a little nervous. And here is our high temperature. So this is gonna be a high temperature sensor. You can see it's got a 75 degree switching. So this is a high temperature, so this does not have low temperature protection. But I really like the cell holders. They're really nice. And these are folded over nicely and they're bolted down. Um, you can see on the top here, all of these here have a washer, a split washer, and then the nut. So these are good from not coming off but the actual lug onto the top of the case needs a bit of attention. And there you have it. I think I'm gonna wrap up the review here. Uh, on this battery specifically, I would like to see a higher charging rate. So the BMS, they may wanna look into switching, as well as the bolts on the lid of the battery. Did not have any Loctite, didn't have a split washer, didn't have a serrated nut. So I think that needs a bit of attention. This battery looks like it's built pretty well. Uh, it's got all the individual cell holders for the expansion and contraction of these pouch cells. So that's a bonus. It does have high temp protection, but again, it doesn't have low temp protection. So if you are planning on buying this battery, uh, make sure that you protect your system for it. I uh, just want to check the price on these. So this battery is $325. Pretty cheap battery. Uh, you don't get high temp protection. I wouldn't use this battery in a high vibration area, so in like an RV or trailer. Um, when I put this back together, I'm gonna put Loctite on it and I'm probably gonna use this in my golf cart. But for a high vibration, um, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, the battery itself, like there is a split washer and everything on the BMS. There's split washer lock washers on the actual pack itself, but affixed to the case, um, there isn't anything and there's a potential for that to come loose. So, I mean, it's a pretty cheap battery. Uh, if you're not using it in a high vibration, I'd recommend it. But yeah, so that is this battery. Ography. 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 We'll go with ography. Ography sounds okay. 
All right, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, more videos to come shortly. Thanks, bye.